Hey, what's up, guys? This is Taya Tai. Not really. This is Mirai Times. Get it? Hey, yo, Taya, if you're watching this, I'm a big fan of you, man. But here's the package from TGR themselves. Today, we're gonna unbox the TGR Polycarbonate P Alice. PC TGR Alice. However, you wanna call it, it's a dream for me to get like one of the TGR keyboard. Like, I'm actually fanboying right now. And the bus stop, Crocker Crushing Rock. All right, so I can't open it up and let's just go. Oh my god, I saw the PCB. Wow. Okay, first up, we already got the PCB. Ooh, it's a TGR PCB. We got the name TGR right here and this is the back of it. It looks something like this. I like the Alice signature so much. Like this thing right here. Like, damn, that is slick. Try to take off this part. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Very excited. Oh my god. Okay, this thing is heavy. This thing is like legit heavy. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Is there anything else underneath? I don't think so, but we're gonna check it out. Nope. Alright. So, a keyboard and a PCB. The keyboard itself. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right here, man? This is a TGR copper weight. Oh, I like how it says Polis right here. Because you guys get it? Alice, polycarbonate. Polycarbonate Alice? Polis. <laughs> okay, that's such a funny pun, but this thing is so heavy, man. This thing right here. Dude, I need to check how heavy is this. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, so I got this thing right here, which is a coffee weight. A phone is usually like 275 gram. Now let's take a look at this keyboard. 1,500 gram. So it's basically 1.5 kg. Can we just appreciate how beautiful this thing looks? And this is, this is so heavy. Like I have the percent canoe right here. And this thing doesn't even feel that heavy. This is 1.4. Yo, homies, are you guys seeing this? Damn, I'm like, I don't, I don't even know how to explain my feeling right now. It's, this thing feels so nice. It's like a baby right here. It's like my baby. This is my baby right now. My baby Alice. Yo, look at the angle. This is the typing angle it gave. So I asked the owner of TGM themselves and the reply I got is really funny. They suggested me to use the Tangerine switches with 60 gram spring swap TX film lived with Crytox 205 grade zero. I think it works fine. You know, I'm a fan of linear switches. Like these are really nice. So smooth. For space bar, they recommended me to use Holy Panda switches. This is also film, you can see the film. And this is lube by the way, lube with Crytox 205 grade zero. And this is like stock. Now, there are many ways to assemble a keyboard, but the way I did it was starting off by lubing the stabilizers. I lube all of my switches before I started recording, but you should definitely lube them if you are using a linear switch. You can do that to tactile switches as well, but if you care about tactility, mm, 
I don't really recommend it. Maybe some slight loops, but yeah, you know. Also, make sure that you got a proper loop for mechanical keyboard switches, or else you might get the opposite result of what you are trying to achieve here. There are many loops for switches, but if you are unsure of what to get, I highly recommend the Crytox 205 Grade 0, as I have no issue with it lubing my tangerines along with the holy pandas. Anyway, back to the stabilizers. Stabilizers are mostly seen in your shift key, enter, backspace if you are using an inside layout, and of course your space bar. A loop space bar can literally change your life, especially for those people who play first person shooter or any games that requires you to press the space key a lot. I play Call of Duty from time to time and I found lubing the shift key for running and spacebar for jumping brings me into a different dimension. There are many in-depth guides on how you can clip Band-Aid mod and loop the stabilizers so check them out if you are interested to do so. However, in this video, I'll just quickly go through what I did so it's up to you if you want to learn more about it. The TLDR is loop steps makes smooth press personal preference though. Coming up is the soldering part. Now this, I don't know about you guys but I used to do this kind of stuff back in high school so I'm cool with it. I want to give a shout out to my dad for preparing all the tools needed for soldering and he gave me a lot of tips on what to do. So I'm just grateful to my dad and big thanks to him. There are also many keyboard soldering videos on YouTube as well so check them out if you want to learn more. If you are worried about soldering or simply do not have the ability to solder, like your parents doesn't allow you to get a soldering kit for example, I highly recommend you guys to get a hot swap PCB which is what I use for my tofu. The TLDR for hot swap is that you can just put the switch into your PCB by hand. You don't need any soldering kit or any accessory for it. Feel free to check out my anime tofu keyboard video I made if you are interested. Now once the soldering is done, you just need to screw the case in and you are pretty much done. The final step is just putting on the keycaps which I recommend GMK keycaps made in Germany. They have the highest quality among all of the keycaps I bought but if you are running low on the budget, a nice PBD key set will never hurt too. And last but not least, here's the sound test you have been waiting for. <laughs> 